Hello, beloved. It's getting richer. Uh, by the moment, by the ministry time, by the session, I'm sure that you have to keep going back and listen again and again and receive more like layers that the Lord is just peeling off and your soul is cleansing it's getting cleansed by the water of the word that's how he's purifying his bride by the water of the word we are <laughs> We have to I have to take some time to talk about this relationship. We talked about the relationship with might, relationship with um, breast, the soul of David had. But there is something that it's very precious. We talked about long suffering as one of the fruit in that soul, but there is another fruit of the Spirit that manifested in that soul. And I have to take some time to talk about that. That's called kindness. Kindness. Today probably is um, together with gentleness, kindness, it's uh, the most misunderstood um, of the fruit. And um, sometimes it's not really connected with kingship. Because kings, we see them very rough, raw sometimes, very decisive, very authoritative unmovable so kindness it seems a weakness almost of a king and that's why I want to take some time to show that actually kindness is uh, it's one of the main fruit in a soul of a king in uh, Galatians 5 you know this one of the the nine fruit and I say fruit because it's using singular because it's just Jesus is the soul of Jesus it's that seed of a new creation that's starting to manifest in our souls that's the fruit the fruit is him he is the fruit he is the f the ripe fruit of love and the joy and the the kindness it's it's him and the word kindness in uh, Greek is the word krestotes krestotes and is uh, translated as gentleness as kindness as moral integrity and we found it talking about God and God's kindness sometimes is translated goodness very very powerful goodness God's goodness Romans 11 22 therefore consider the goodness the kindness the word is crestotes consider the crestotes and severity of God and those who fell severity but toward you goodness Christodes, if you continue in his goodness otherwise you also will be cut off I love this verse because it brings together the soul of the king goodness and severity very clear cut with goodness if either of them are too much of it in the composition of the soul then you either are 
too kind and taken advantage of or you are too much in severity and rough and uh, people are um, afraid of you because of the punishment they you know that's thorns that punch that pinch them and pushes them away so I know that Jesus was the perfect mix of kindness and severity so he says look at that in uh, Ephesians 2 7 it says in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness Christodes, toward us in Christ Jesus the way the Lord is coming with the gospel to us is by grace in kindness in Christodes some of us heard a very going to hell um, be careful or else um, very super legalistic type of preaching and we are not even daring to look towards God because we don't know I mean it's is the guy up there he can can be in a bad mood and just break my legs because of something I said Right. Now, the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ is presented by grace in kindness. That's what he says here. Titus 3, 4. But when the kindness and the love of God, our Savior, to where toward man appeared. See how he describes? Not the punishment, not the rod of judgment appear but the kindness and the love it's very important because this is almost like what offers when when someone comes to your soul and some other souls and people come and meet your soul the first thing they meet the buffer that they touch it's not the severity but it's the kindness. It's almost like what's welcoming them. It doesn't mean that there is not a severity and clarity and righteous judgment inside there. And they'll meet that too. <laughs> they will see that. Absolutely. Uh, and they saw that to Jesus. Right? It's, uh, you know, you, you cannot bribe him. You cannot say, oh no, no, you know, Peter was trying. I, I understand you really want to, you, you are such a special loving person, so kind. But this stuff with you're going to die and die on the cross and people will, will hit you and uh, spit on you. And, you know, just, just, nah, that, that's not, let, we'll pray to God and, that's not gonna happen to you come on and we are here we can protect you Jesus and Jesus calls that that those are the thoughts of man so behind me Satan right so that that inside the gentleness and kindness was definitely that righteous judgment I'm not gonna take the thought of man to tell me how to obey God I'm very secure in what he told me I have to do right but <laughs> I'm sure that Peter still felt very loved even if he was rebuked so harshly he felt very loved okay he didn't feel like he's pushed away right? so it's so important when this gospel is coming it's it's coming with Christodes that's what it's presented to us and then inside there when you step in when you come in you know the judgment against sin and unrighteousness and it cost him the blood of Jesus to 
deal with that type of stuff. So now there is there is uh, love and there is truth. Yes, there is uh, uh, kindness and there is righteousness. Okay, but it's, I'm just talking about how how God is presenting Himself, how this King David was was met with uh, by other people. And in uh, verse in chapter nine in Second Samuel, the king said, "Is there not still someone?" of the house of Saul to whom I may show the kindness of God doesn't doesn't want to do charity doesn't want to be nice to him he wants to show the kindness of God and you know kindness of God it works with people that don't deserve it people that used to persecute you and um, they did evil to you and they tried to come against you and wrote against you and did all kind of things and the Lord says do good to the ones that speak evil against you and do evil I want to show the kindness of God to the house of my persecutor, <laughs> Saul. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it's a challenge that we have to bring to the people around us. And maybe we don't have that much to do with the, uh, the world, you know, the political and all the world stuff. But, um, we have lots of goodness to show to the religious world. The people that maybe categorized us and they look bad at us and they put us in a bad um, uh, perspective. Now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, had come to David, he fell on his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, Mephibosheth? And he answered, Here is your servant. And David said to him, Listen how the goodness of God speaks. Listen. Do not fear, for I will surely show, your ki show you kindness for Jonathan, for your father's sake, and will restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather. And you shall eat bread at my table continually. And um, he calls the servant, and uh, Zeba is the servant, and he says, "You take care of him. Make sure that you are you and your house are gonna serve this Mephibosheth. And don't forget." He shall eat at my table like one of king's sons. I give you, because of the goodness of the Lord, I give you and I consider you like one of my sons. This is so powerful. See, the heart of David because of that fruit of kindness could never become the heart of Saul. There are areas in our souls that are tested with this goodness. And there are people that we can deal with and, yes, show kindness to, but there are some people, some category of people, that for us is too much. I'm not gonna. No, that's too much. Don't ask me, Lord. Don't don't ask me. I I don't even want to think about that. Right. And the Lord is asking because He wants to change even that heart place of your heart. That you cannot be a soul 
in any part of your, your soul, of your heart, you'll always be a David. You'll always know and have this relationship with the kindness, the goodness of God brings repentance. Think about this. Maybe in the most difficult relationship that you had, and you are challenged with. Think about the goodness of God leads to repentance. Think about how the goodness of God, showing the kindness of God, can turn around that relationship. And yeah, may not make that your best friend or your greatest supporter, but it's not going to be that tension and that kind of a don't talk to me, almost hate type of thing because of the past. It's going to reconcile you. Even the enemy is going to call you blessed and is going to see that there is a change a deep change in your soul and that's what kindness does to someone yes you are a king and kindness is not towards the devil and towards the enemies and those spirits that are absolutely evil they have nothing no repentance <laughs> they cannot that's the nature of evil is in them Right? No, kindness is not towards us, it's towards the souls of men. No matter how far in their evilness they went to, that seed, it's there to bring them back with kindness. So maybe that's something that you want to challenge. Let the Holy Spirit challenge you in this new season the person that sees the kindness of God through me and let me know let me know how how this is gonna this gonna work for you um, and I know it's gonna be a huge victory kindness